today my friends i have a bit different video for you once again due to a lot of requests a lot of comments under my couple previous live gameplay episodes where i have played live or featured my own replays uh, many people have been asking uh, what is this mod uh, how can i get uh, this mod um, what is it called and so on so on mainly about the mark of excellence mod or the battle hits mod i featured in my previous episode as well so today i decided to showcase all my top mods uh, i decided to use after a couple hours, not couple hours, couple years of not using any modifications whatsoever. But uh, some of them are uh, simply useful to analyze the battles. Uh, some of them are useful uh, during the stream, for example, like uh, Deferred Mark of Excellence mod. And uh, some of them simply look cool. Okay, let's be honest over here. So, without further ado, let's dive right into the action. And here are all the modifications I am using from the As Lanes mod pack as well. Link is in the description. It is also available in the Wargaming software official mod hub all the links are in the description because i know people want to see it uh, if you want to uh, use one or two mods uh, what i am using as well uh, first up uh, you can see this one over here yes this is not part of the game this is actually a modification called levva's uh, mark of excellence mod in my opinion it is the coolest looking it is the cleanest looking and also the most informative all the information is over here what i need uh, basically it shows you your mark of excellence progress up over here here, and it also tells you the requirements uh, for the 65%, which is uh, first mark, 85 second mark, and uh, uh, third mark, 95%, also 100% mark of excellence requirement is over here, and you can see your uh, average progress as well. All of those uh, things are combined damages. Uh, basically, you can keep track, and uh, mainly, it is useful mainly uh, for the stream, uh, where I'm trying to free mark one or another tank, and uh, people are always asking, uh, what percentage are we at uh, right now? Now and so on but now when it is uh, in the game on the screen you are able to see that live um, without asking that question right uh, we come back to that uh, while we are playing one quick live battle as well, showcasing some mods which, avail which uh, are active during the battle. And not too many mods. Now, next up, uh, let's use um, one of the coolest mods uh, which I have featured a couple years ago uh, in, my, in one of my interesting mods series. If you remember that, you are OG, right? And this is called Battle Hits Mod. Now, I just played a battle for you, uh, just to get some um, samples uh, to show how this mod works. Basically, you just pick your replay, what you have played during this session. Uh, this uh, pops up over here on the top right, and you can analyze every single shot you did hit, you penetrated, or you bounced. Uh, uh, all the shots, uh, what enemies uh, fired at you, and so on. So I just played this battle to showcase some shots. Um, I was play playing with Scorpion G, and here you can analyze. Like uh, I bounced off from Brochetto 46, and uh, if you are like, how how can I bounce off from Brochetto? What happened with that shot? And over here, clicking this shot, you can clearly see what happened. Uh, that shot happened actually, I think like 450 meters away. So I definitely did not see where my shot landed it uh, just said armor didn't penetrate or something and uh, here i can clearly see i only did hit the gun indeed the next up a chrysler case i turret easy penetration this one nice high roll uh, through the tracks into the lower plate uh, ferdinand side kill shot uh, lava into the pooper beautiful almost uh, almost i don't know is this overmatch or almost auto ricochet angle actually that was quite quite a meme shot um, and then I got a little revenge into the Brochetto, almost once again didn't do any damage, did hit, you know, under the tracks or under the hull behind the tracks, and the final uh, killing blow into the SU as well, so it is... Uh quite a useful modification understanding what happened with your shots you know sometimes you really do question uh, but uh, then you see that you actually did hit the very edge of the gun mantle very edge of the armor and everything makes sense but moving on to the next one and what i want to show you is over here replay manager well this is quite self-explanatory right uh, it basically collects all your replays uh, you can short them by today uh, i only have laid one battle 
battle uh, that scorpion g battle for you so you can short term by week month all time experience credits vehicle destroyed damaged vehicle spotted assistance you can uh, short all your replays like that using this tool you can also upload your replays to what replays you can play the battle you can show the battle results or you can delete it if you do not want to keep it inside your um, replay folder and also there are filters you can short it by maps so very useful once again locating your uh, replays what you would like to look at analyze the battles once again just to you know maybe get to be, get to be a better player uh, maybe so replay manager once again very awesome thing next up let's talk about a modification which uh, simply looks cool hangman hangar manager aka hangman it has uh, many uh, different features in itself it is quite a big mode i would say so uh, for your garage for your hangar uh, for example uh, you can switch your garage with a simple click would you like to be on airfield for example you can do that let's go uh, be on the airfield um, there are many default options already uh, what you can use you know himmelstorf you can be in, in the middle of himmelstorf but let's go back for a second uh, back to the uh, this uh, standard one and let's open it up again and let's click the settings button for example you can do depth of field as well you can blur the background uh, just you know make it a bit more cozy maybe you can uh, limit the blur amount or you can you know depth of field distance uh, you can make it quite uh, uh, quite hardcore and maybe this actually even helps your fps inside the garage as well i have not noticed it myself um, uh, but uh, maybe for weaker PCs it actually does do that, so might be useful. Uh, hide interface, mouse, uh, you know, there are some options. But over here, ladies and gentlemen, keyboard settings. If I press left, alt and numpad 7, I am able to make a print screen while I am inside the battle. And the position where my vehicle is right now is going to be saved up as my garage. How it works? Well, let me show you that while we're going to play a quick example battle as well. Hmm, I have to say I actually quite like this blur in the distance or on the background. Yeah, I'm actually going to keep it this way right now. Uh, so we just have to remember one key bind, left alt number 7 and let's take a picture in the next battle, in, uh, in the quick next battle we're going to play. So this was uh, Hangman and also we have free camera mode inside this uh, uh, mod pack basically free camera inside the garage i'm able to fly around you know we are able to look how this guy is simply uh, chopping up logs like absolute boss uh, so take that axe and swing it swing it good and boom perfectly split down the middle those guys are cooking a little soup action let's see is it actually in oh it is actually modeled in okay and by the way guys if you have ever wondered where they are going to paint your vehicles if you go to the uh, camos camo garage or paint garage you know where you are able to customize your tanks do you want to know where that garage is located well i shite you not but it is actually up there <laughs> <laughs> it is actually up over here so let's quickly fly into the uh, into the customization hangar and yes this is over here <laughs> uh, when i first found out about that well i uh, chuckled quite a bit so here is uh, quite a wide angle how the entire garage looks like let's go down let's take uh, i know exactly what i want to take 50T. I would like to take Kampf Panzer 50T. This tank should be able to deal some damage. This tank should be able to bounce some shots. So let's take another look at battle hits uh, uh, according to what happened in this battle. And uh, uh, we're able to analyze it even further. So let's take a picture. For example, left old, number 7. Boom. Uh, map and position saved as new hangar. As you can see from the bottom right above the uh, mini map, uh, this is going to be our new hangar. But uh, just, you know, a little desk picture for you. Uh, let's actually continue towards the middle and let's try to get a bit better angle. So, while we're in the game, you can see Mark of Excellence mod uh, on the right side. I have not played too many battles with this vehicle. Uh, total amount of damage needed to increase marks right now is only 1287 because. Uh, very low 
uh, as I said, not played with this vehicle too many battles. And also, if you press Alt, you get information, extra information. If you want to raise 1%, you need to deal this amount of damage. And the average that you reach first mark is uh, 2,896 average combined damage needed. Uh, Terry Centurion, boom, quick shot, and that was a bounce. Uh, how that was a bounce? I have no idea right now, but uh, soon we might be able to take a look at it. Types... Uh, Type 61, yes, that was Type 61. T-54 is also in the middle. They are quite aggressive over there. So, let's actually... Hmm, yeah, let's do a test, ladies and gentlemen. Under this, under angle... Okay. We traded shots. I wanted to make a new hangar picture. <laughs> I actually wanted to make a new hangar picture. Okay, <laughs> I'm fooling around over here. Uh, my driver is dead, by the way. So let's uh, let's let's make a new hangar picture right over here. So I'm going to raise my gun and boom, left alt seven, save it as new uh, hangar. All right, here is push B. This tank is not the best at sniping, uh, but there is no reason for me to push uh, forward even more. Wow, this tank is actually not very good at sniping, uh, but there is no like real reason to push forward anymore uh, because we already have quite a few tanks up here mm. okay that bounced off from the side of the turret boom just like that i can use this dead standard b as i said mm. yeah side would have been a bounce b30 TVP. Foish B. Is Batchet coming? Oh, yeah, Batchet is coming. Let's take another shot. Okay, Yuris is coming in. Foish B. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? Okay, let's angle. Foish B is coming as well. Ah, no. I was not able to... I was not able to hold it. Uh, we have a lot more hit points, but we're losing this battle 6-9. to nine. Well, like, this battle is uh, far from being over. I believe we're actually going to win it because we have quite a big HP difference. And boom, here you go. Two tanks are dead already. As I said, if I would have been even further deep in the action, uh, then we would have died even earlier without dealing as much damage as we did right over here. And we're actually going to win it. But before we are going to leave this battle right over here, I would like you to pay attention on the minimap because there you can find the final mode I have not covered in this video yet. And it is the destroyed vehicle's uh, position location uh, you can see kind of a coast icons uh, of the enemy vehicles of the uh, allied vehicles uh, uh of the last known position where they got destroyed that and this is uh, very useful sometimes uh, let's say if your allied medium tank right over there pushes in and got destroyed but you do not know uh, who destroyed it uh, destroyer did not get spotted medium tank tank destroyer whatever it can be so you can just in your head um, line up or come up with some potential positions where that guy could have been if your ally medium tank got destroyed right over there. So it just gives you some extra information. And boom, uh, we are out of the battle and a new hangar has been saved. This is exactly the angle we used it to take the picture. And now you can even see the gun has been raised. If I take AMX 50 Foch, for example, that gun is not raised, but this gun is still raised. Okay, very interesting. Skoda? Oh, Skoda's gun is also raised. Wait, why is, no, why is your BP not raised? This gun is raised. This gun is raised. But why is your BP not raised? Oh my god, lazy BP on AMX 50 Foch. Your gun is raised? Yeah, everything else is raised. So, quite cool, isn't it? It is just something cool. You can make your own garage. 
uh, with a simple click and uh, under any any angle you want. As I said, if you jump and you take the picture while you're up in the air, your garage is going to be up in the air. At least it was like two years ago like that. And quickly, let's take another look at the battle hits mod right over here because we played with Kampfpanzer. Let's say we had a couple interesting bounces like the Centurion. Okay, turret gun mantle, easy, non-penetration, uh, non right, understandable. For HP, non-penetration, understandable. This one, we did scrape the side only. Of course, it is not going to be a penetration. We did hit the very edge. Uh, this one, very close, being into the commander hatch, but still no penetration. All the shots we received over here as well and all the shots we bounced, uh, no hull hit, uh, uh, side, no hull hit, and those are all my modifications I am using inside World of Tanks. I do not need anything else. Some of them are just for the stream or just for, you know, just for the memes. Uh, replay manager, battle hits, hangman, free camera. Oh, also free camera inside replays. Uh, I had to select separately for taking thumbnails for YouTube or just recording some different angles. Then Lebvas, uh, third mark of excellence mode and destroyed vehicles position. Uh, what? That you can use to just you know make up um, an idea where the enemy vehicle could have been if they destroyed your allied medium tank while you were in a deep deep action and did not notice it yourself on the minimap. I hope it answered you all of your questions about which mods do I use. Now please let me know uh, are there other awesome mods uh, you would like me to check out what you are using and I am not using. Let me know and maybe I can make an episode about that as well. I thank you very much for tuning in. I catch you next time with something else. Stay awesome, stay sexy, stay naked, take care and bye.